All right, so today we're going to be talking about the new Chandler and uh, which one is actually better, him or the old one? And the fact I even have to pose this question is sad. <laughs> and honestly, I think the old one takes it. Now, while we go in, I'll present my arguments. I would say the only the old one only takes it if you have the relic. Without the the relic, I don't I don't know. It, it might still be better. Legit. Only because this Chandler. I don't know what they're going for with him. It's just like. The increasing Pierce is cool. Because, of course, Trader Milieu's can take, you know, part in that. But. Honestly. The way demons have been playing out. A more. I would say, like, a defensive way of playing with demons has been what people have been running. And, like, the old, yeah, the old Chandler passive is so good right now, especially in combination with the Relic. Um, that it's... I don't know why they've, they've done this twice now, where they release a new character, but then they release a Holy Relic for their old version, just, like... Zaldra's was, and it makes you question, wait, which one's better? The character that released over a year ago, or the character that just released right now? Um, and this, I mean, this channel doesn't have much going for him, he has really mediocre stats. At least Zaldra's had good stats. I'm using Zaldra's right now, the new one, on the back, where he's meant to be, uh, because of support, you know, Sag. And, you know... I can, right now, you know, uh, remove stands, which is cool. That's cool. <laughs> Let's do this. Max the double attack here, because I think I do kill the end. Sorry. I thought I would kill the end, but I didn't hit hard enough, I guess. Um, they gave him counter Melly's ult. Like... Okay, old Chandler ult is bad. I'm not gonna pretend that it's good. It's bad. But... Counter Melee? They looked at all the ultimates they could've given him. They could've even given him a new ultimate. Right? And they gave him Counter Melee? What were they smoking? Do I kill here? I don't think I do. Mm. I'll give it a try. Old, old Chandler would not have killed there. But it's like with the old Chandler, because I have like taunt and stuff. Oh my god. You can ult rush of Esterosa, which has been a very reliable tactic to use in PvP right now. If you have a decently deep Esterosa, especially. The Asteros ultimate is super strong and because your team is inherently tanky with Asteros' passive um Chandler lowering the stats Zelda's lowering attack which lowering attack doesn't really help when you're facing like bonds and stuff but it helps for the most part right like Chandler old Chandler disabling lowering attack and having the damage reduction I don't know man I am uh, slightly confused. What do you think of this one? The only thing I can say is uh, that he could get a really good Holy Relic. Jim with the revive from both of them. They should have gone for the kill Emilio, is actually bad, it's fine. He could get like a really good Holy Relic. And that could change it for him. But it's like. If if they're gonna do like that, I hate I hate I hate when like games do shit like that, where they release a character not in its complete state, and you have to do something to make them complete, right? Like um, when they release characters already thinking of their relics like this, I I don't think it's a good way of making characters and stuff, you know. It's just uh, especially with. Chandler being a demon, you have to do dogs to get his relic. 
you're gonna have to pull this character and for him to even be honestly runnable you have to do dogs twice you know floor three twice I don't know why <laughs> I don't know why um cactus time time out this guy from chat he was right <laughs> He said, I don't think this, this guy's content right now. He was right. Chandler is actually just mid. People already don't care about him. It's It's been like two days. People already don't care about him. It's like... Zeldris... At least... Okay, he was... He was still a disappointment. I don't think... Um... It was still a disappointment. But like, I don't know. I feel like Zeldris still was just better. He, he had a better banner as well. Like, Cactus apologized and gave him a sub. <laughs> like, at least Zeldris had a decent banner, you know? Chandler was putting like this awful banner. They, they put him up with anyone except those characters. And they, they could have got Mono. Mono was a decent addition to the banner, I guess. But, like, it kind of it shafts Mono. Putting her in such a bad banner on her first time coming back. It's like, if you didn't pull for Mono because it was right before anniversary, I don't think you would pull for her now because this banner is just bad. Um, do this. Echo both? Echo stamina today. Yeah. Melly still loses the buff every single time he attacks, but it is what it is. I, I just realized I left Bon alone now, and he's gonna pull level 3. He did not. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. See, I would really really lower Bond, Bond's capabilities if I had the other Chandler. Because, you know, with the other Chandler... Let me get Melly's ult, I guess. With the other Chandler, you disable him from doing extra damage per ultimate gauge and blue carding. Just Tar Link on Bond? The unit in the back? That's so weird. And if the counters from the other Chandler, you like apply darkness every single time, they get countered as well. Let's do this just in case. Now I'll let Chandler finish it. I think he. I think if he if the ult doesn't die, Chandler kills it. Listen, if you summon on Chandler's banner, you don't deserve the festival that comes out at the end of the year. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I, 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 I'm just saying. So yeah. Chat already saw, but I, I just gained like 4,000 CC from swapping to the, to the old Chandler. So, you know. New Chandler has comparable stats to the old Chandler. How is that possible? They've been increasing character stats so much. The explosion in stats we've had for the past like um, year and, and so, since Bond came out. Since Bond, since Festival... Purgatory Bond, stats have not been the same. It's the jump is insane. Sorry. Every character that comes out is like crazy stats compared to like old characters, right? I forgot. He, he only has one turn on the Witcher. And really. The new Chandler has comparable stats to the old one. Like the, the new Zeldris. Actually has really good stats. Much better than the old Zeldris. The old Zeldris has okay stats. Because he came out again at a time like... Um, when stats weren't that good. Before Purgatory Bond. He just has really high attack. That Zeldris has the highest attack in the game. And both the... You know... <laughs> exclusive Zeldris... Ominous Nebula. 
and this Chandler could get really good relics. Alright, jeez. Okay, this relic cleansing is actually so good. I didn't I didn't utilize it. I could have used it better. I could have cleansed and disabled someone. But it's fine. Okay. I can actually cleanse the encroachment. And then alt. It's like they gave such a good relic to this Chandler. Just to release a mid Chandler right after. I they what they should do is how about this for an idea? Release the new character, good day one, to the point where you can't question if he's better than you that came out a year and a half ago. Right? And then six, nine months from now, then they get a good relic. Again, to re you know, restate them on the meta. Which is why I think like units like Trader Mally, Festival King, should not get relics until they're bad. So when they get a relic, it's like, oh my god, he's back. Trader Mally's back. He's again the best unit in the game. And not like Oh he's but not like the one. When the one got a relic, he was already or he was still a really good unit. Right? So he got a really bad relic. Because he was still a good unit. The one should have got a relic right now, when he's a mid mid character, when he's like a okay character that you can use for birds, like if you don't have rare, or Kusok, right? Now he should have been a good time. Give him a really good relic. Ignore thirty percent defense related stats in all game modes, not just PvP. Go comes back. He's back, baby. He's really good. Really good. But no. Let's disable that blue card. Um, and then let's put a darkness on the Reinhardt. Shall I hold it? There's a few old characters that don't have relics. Um, when it, uh, um, the demons, of course, but demons just started getting relics. So it makes sense. Humans wise, Jericho doesn't have a relic. Um, Death Pierce doesn't have a relic. There's a few characters with all relics. He went for the ult. No, he did not, okay. Um I can't encroach him. I'll go for this. Hope I get another AoE next turn. Apply the most darkness as possible. So I'm applying here um nine darkness? I think, yeah, 3-3-3, three, three, three. I get 45% basic stats, and, I don't care if Mel is disabled, I just want to apply more darkness, and, right, now, hmm, now, um, when they attack, they lose, oh my god, he got immortality, when they attack, they lose 7% HP, so they do less damage. I'm gonna have to encroach this uh, Reinhardt so he doesn't one shot me. Okay, he doesn't have a uh, taunt, so we're good, we're good. I can kill him. I'm just gonna go for the encroachment. Wait, he got. What'd he get? Yeah, he got more So we can actually just do this. We're gonna encroach and disable him. And then we kill Bon. Yeah. Then we kill him next turn. Like him encroach and disable, he's over. He's done for. His ult is gonna do nothing. Plus, he's gonna even lose more HP when he ults. The next turn, I can probably kill him with melee if he does a game more tally again. He got a dodge. Ugh, that's. I might actually not be able to kill him anymore. Because he got a dodge. Uh, that's a problem. Let's see. If he taunts with Arthur, that'd be great. He did not, okay. That would have been super useful. 
Because I could guarantee kill him. Mm. That dodge is uh, a problem. I think I kill Arthur at least here. So that, uh. Yeah, this should kill Arthur. Oh, I didn't kill Twigo. Should have gone for the kill on Twigo. Uh, I think I lost actually. <laughs> immortality! If, if, I mean, he's gonna get Immortality from ulting anyways, but damn. He's gonna lose HP when he ults. Might do as much damage. Should have gone for the kill until we go. Ooh! Not gonna kill. Not gonna kill. He lost 14% HP. So he's, he's not killing. Yep. Um, we're gonna just make sure that Twiggle dies. So he loses the HP. See, it's... I can encroach him, but applying as much darkness as possible so that uh, I got more stats. That's, uh, what, four darkness? That's uh, four stacks for the stats as well. Immortality again? Are you kidding me? Bro. <laughs> I'm gonna encroach him again. I'm actually going to lower his stats by 70% because I'm actually going to ult. I'm going to ult. So it's good. <laughs> I'm going to lower the stats and lower again. Now he's in crow, so it's lowered by 70%. How much damage are they here? Okay. If he gets immortality again. He got immortality again! Oh my god, it's like. I, <laughs> At least I can disable him. What? What are the odds? He's still stat lowered as well. And next turn, I can disable him. Or I can encroach him. Bro, I wanna end this. He is disabled and he's 30% lower by melee. He, can, he can't kill me. Even if he wasn't, he wouldn't be able to kill me because he doesn't have uh, like anyone supporting him. But Okay. If he got immortality again, bro. Bro, is, this is going to do like 5 damage. Yeah. Then he also gets lower by Chandler's passive. Either way, Chandler's very good. <laughs> the old Chandler with the relic is very good. It's so bad that I have to compare them. This was not the case. Listen, when Lost Vein came out, I didn't have to think about it. Which one was better, Lost Vein or Blue DML? It was Lost Vein, okay? Maybe not the same case, but I think it's similar, okay?